to get you outside of the ball. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have the courage? What's up, everyone? We are back with yet another XRP update, and today you should hold on to your buns because it's going to be heated. To get the ball rolling, Brad spoke in an interview with Bloomberg, and he gave his opinion on the SEC. Frankly, we can all see that the SEC is dragging this court case for far too long. And from my opinion, if the SEC filed the case, they should be the ones in a rush to see its conclusion. But interestingly enough, in this scenario, they're the ones dragging the court case. My question is, why? And what makes this court case so special? Today, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. This is crazy breaking news from Brad Garlinghouse himself. Ladies and gentlemen, today, there's no ifs or doubts about it. Garlinghouse goes on in an interview discussing the very real possibility of Ripple losing this court case and what will happen to the crypto company. Today, I want you to all listen and be very attentive. Most importantly, do not touch that dial because today is finally the day we all learn the truth. So sit tight and let's roll that intro. Welcome back to Moneyside, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP team. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. In the interview, Bloomberg interviewer states that they do believe that Ripple could likely lose the court case. Now, Garlinghouse goes on to say that the idea that XRP is a security, something that currently people are using, is simply misguided. What we need to consider is that Ripple is already operating as if it has lost. Yep, you heard that right. In the United States, there's no liquidity, and the trade of XRP has been totally halted in most US-based exchanges. And despite that fact, apparently, according to Garlinghouse, Ripple had a record year last year. The company continues to grow rapidly across their major product groups. And even first quarter was a successful quarter for Ripple this year. Do you see where I'm getting this? All that growth is unfortunately originating from outside the United States. Ripple continues to hire more and more people outside the United States. More importantly, 99% of Ripple's customer base are non-U.S. companies. That's a crucial piece of information that we need to put into consideration when investing in Ripple. We now have a lot of new XRP investors who are now extremely frustrated by the state of the market. Granted, the SEC can really strike a nerve, especially when it comes to this particular case. They have been dragging this court case out for the longest time possible without probable cause. The regulatory body has a bunch of excuses to justify their actions, but none truly explains their true intentions. The SEC is always known for putting their head down in such cases and accelerate the case as fast as possible. But for some reason, this specific court case is taking longer than it should, and that's all thanks to the SEC. Let's be honest, the worst case scenario of XRP is already happening, and this coin is flourishing amidst all this. In fact, I don't think XRP will ever fall below 50 cents ever again. The lowest price XRP can go to is about 54 cents, and after that, this coin is set to skyrocket. We are now very close to that. And what that technically means is that now is the perfect time to go all in with XRP. Now is the perfect time to finally retire your entire family through XRP. Now we're going to discuss the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. Stocks, real estate, and cryptocurrency are all experiencing a storm of uncertainty in recent times. As a result, most investors are unsure where to place their money. The truth is that market volatility and pullbacks are opportunities to re-evaluate how well you're diversified. Diversification refers to the fact that your holdings are unrelated to one another. They don't move up and down with each other simultaneously in this manner. So even if you have 100 assets, you can't declare that your portfolio is diversified if their market movement is the same. When it comes to uncorrelated assets, contemporary art is one of them. Essentially, contemporary art prices can increase even more than some stocks. The best part is that art 
has a low correlation to stocks and bonds, which is especially important in today's volatile markets. It's incredible how contemporary art prices have been outperforming the Standard & Poor 500 total return by 164% from 1995 to 2021. And if that's not enough, contemporary art has outperformed gold, U.S. housing, and global equities while maintaining a low correlation to those markets. This tells us why two-thirds of billionaires allocate 10 to 30 percent of their investment portfolio to art. However, a significant issue that the regular investor has faced for years is that they never had enough money to invest in art in their portfolio. Therefore, investments in art were previously limited to the super wealthy. Masterworks is here to change that by giving everyday people like you and me the opportunity to join the ranks of billionaire art collectors and get in on the once untouchable asset class that is the art investment world. You can finally invest in iconic art by top artists like Picasso, Bansky, Basquiat, and Monet. Something else that really stands out is that Masterworks is the first startup to securitize paintings with the SEC. Therefore, it allows top artists to buy shares and fractional ownership of iconic art pieces. Once you've bought your shares, Masterworks will hold on to the art for three to seven years, then sell it at an auction. Or you can sell your own shares on the Masterworks secondary market to the other users on the platform. Masterworks knows what they're doing when it comes to selling art. Since 2017, Masterworks has exited three offerings, offering net annualized returns of 32% in 2020 and 31% in 2021. If you'd like to get started with Masterworks, signing up is super easy and it takes less than 60 seconds. If you want to skip the waitlist, use the link in the description box. What better way to diversify your portfolio than with one of the most stable markets, offering returns of 14% over the last 25 years. Now, getting back into it, Garlinghouse said clearly that an XRP loss has already been factored in. That means right now is probably the worst time XRP has had since its bullish trend. That also goes to show you that the only way and the only action that XRP will have from here on out is bullish. It can't go any lower than this. As we speak, this is the perfect pivot point for the next crypto that is XRP. What's important to note is 95% of Ripple's business is based outside of the US. Now it's not about whether or not Ripple is going to win. It's about if the United States is going to join the race or not. Additionally, Garlinghouse was also quoted as saying that the SEC and the US governments are the only bodies that seem to think that XRP is a security, which is rather absurd. We've already witnessed the extreme downside if, in any case, they don't win. We are here at the forefront of this altcoin revolution, which is coming on the horizon. Yet again, there's extreme panic in the crypto and fiat market section, but this is the right time to invest, and also the same time when the bull and the bear both get really excited. I'm optimistic about what is going to happen next. Guys, you need to remember that Amazon and Tesla were both sued by the SEC and later flourished in business. It doesn't necessarily mean that Ripple will be a loser. On the contrary, evidence points out that Ripple will likely survive this storm and come out of all these experiences a winner. In my perspective, an attack from the SEC only goes to show of your business's success path. The government doesn't mind having an extra pair of United States workers with minimal escorts. Another piece of information that'll blow your mind is that Bitcoin mining has been banned in New York because of the climate crisis. Something big for Bitcoin is coming, and if the crypto king is not ready, another individual will take his place. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. And we continue to pray for the people of Ukraine. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's start a conversation. Thanks as always for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button. Then be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Thanks again and we will see you on the next Money Side.